Excuse me, I need a spoon. My spoon is too big. Spoon with me, dude! It's the game, <laughs> or whatever, Cream of the Crop It's is. Cream of the Crop, where we rank our top five of a favorite. Because you know they say Cream of the Crop is like the best of the best? Yeah. I've never heard that, no. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> hey, you learned something well, now. Guess what? Yeah, we're out here learning people some knowledge. Skip, why don't you go ahead and tell them what the cream of the crop is this week? Okay, this week's cream of the crop, we're gonna do our top five favorite cartoon characters. I gotta get my list out. I wrote, <laughs> I wrote that more down. Number one rule with the cartoons is they have to be in a TV show. No video games allowed. Well, I mean, they can be part of a video game, but like they also have to have a TV show. Can it be TV show? Or movie? Or movie. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would work. Because cartoon sort of implies that yeah. it's yeah. on television. Okay. Yeah. Not like not like a video game. Oh, yeah. So how does this work? Who goes so first? So we're gonna go. No, we're gonna we're gonna start with Skip. Start with me. Yeah, Skip. I feel like we've never started with you. Well, it's because I'm in the we, middle. It's yeah. kind of like a snake order. Yeah, so that hey, doesn't really work. No, it, yeah, we're gonna fine. start with you. Okay. okay. We're gonna start with you, and we'll go. We'll just we'll just circle around. Yeah. Circle. It's like, uh, what was that one movie to where they like stitched everyone's mouths and butts together? Oh, Human Centipede. Yeah, that, that's this is just like that. <laughs> so number five, oh, right? the Human Centipede. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that cartoon. <laughs> oh, okay. That was my favorite show growing up. <laughs> I was like, I want to be just like that when I grow up. <laughs> Wait, the Human the Centipede doctor? or the top? The Human Centipede. He wanted to be the middle. Yeah. You're in the middle. So <laughs> I want to I want to receive and give. So I mean, hey, you're never not like hungry, you know. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> All right, now now on to the children's cartoon yeah. characters. Hey, why do we, we gotta be so children? Lovingly. The children watching us can be like, what is Human Centipede, Dad? <laughs> Google it. Google it. <laughs> don't don't don't. Movie night. Don't, Movie night. don't Google it. All right, skip. All right, lay this off. Uh, here we go. For number five, I'm going with the genie from Aladdin. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I it is yeah. pretty lame. We're starting yeah. off. We're he's, going with. He's buff. I mean, Robin Williams, oh. absolute like icon, Impressive. icon. And if you just go on YouTube, you can watch videos of like him, you know, creating that character. Because really, he didn't have a script. He had a script, but then he just took it, threw it away, nice. and did whatever he wanted to do. And it's so cool just to see him at work. So, so I had to put the genie on there. With my list, I didn't really like think about like the voices over. I just thought about how great they make the story. With this the is the only one that oh, I did the okay, voice. Okay. That is a, you know, just because you know Robin yeah. Williams is such an icon. Sure. So, I go. Right. Yeah. yeah go ahead, so Ethan. the thing is with my list, like these are all like they would all be like my number one favorite cartoon characters, but you can only I can only list them one to five, right? Yeah. 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 So number five is Cartman from South Park. That's a great pick. But he's still like he's still up there. Yeah, he's, he's a good character. He's, he's just like yeah. he's so funny. He is. He's like one of those. What like, did you say to Mr. Garrison? <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. I've never watched a single episode of South Park. Oh my god! I've seen in my entire you're life. Missing not out. even. I don't even. I think I've seen a clip. You're missing out. You like Rick and Morty, don't you? I love Rick and Morty. Yeah. The, the South Park's got the same kind of humor. South Park's funny. Yeah. I've seen like I've seen yeah. a couple episodes, but I'm not like. There's South also Park another really like... popular one that I've never seen an episode from, but I'll, I'll get to that because I'm assuming it's gonna be on somebody's list. Family Guy. No, no. We'll get to it. We'll get to it, Sam. All right, my good pick. Good pick. Good pick. Yeah, I like her. Good pick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my number five is Rutro Raggy, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Mm. Scooby Doo is amazing. That's he... another animal I could take. <laughs> Okay. He's Dude, dangerous. I'm right. I mean, Scooby-Doo. Great Danes are huge. You can't take Scrappy, though. Yeah, Scrappy will scrap. Uh, that's, like, that's the dude with the green shirt, right? No, that's Shaggy. <laughs> Scrappy. Scrappy's like the Scooby that's like this tall. <laughs> yeah, he loves know. to fight people. <laughs> I'm taking <laughs> him, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like Scooby-Doo. He's probably my favorite character out of the gang. And oh, for sure. And I, you gotta put Scooby-Doo on the list with the cartoons. Like, it's, he's a man. Have you, ever snacks? have you ever seen um, Scooby-Doo Into the Cyberspace? The live action? Oh, oh no, gosh. the... the that movie is so good. Yeah. The video I, game. I have a oh, video yeah, game. Oh, yeah, me too. So Have good. you ever seen it? Yeah. No, not that movie. You should. I, it's I, I so it. yeah. good. I gotta watch it. I, like, I know we're talking about cartoons, but, like, I really liked the movies where they were, like, live action played. Oh, man, those were so fun. <laughs> Go back and re-watch them, because they are so, like, adult humor. Are there really? It's not, so much. The one I have in my mind that I burned from my mind when I was a kid was when Freddy and 
um, Daphne switch bodies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is live full of dark. Daphne. It is full yeah, of dark. Live, <laughs> live action. Live action Daphne. <laughs> that live action Sheesh. She didn't get this live action. <laughs> she didn't get that. <laughs> My God. Okay, Logan, oh. what's your five? Right. All right, my number five is Aang, The Last Airbender. That's respect. a good one. That's respect. That show is so good and I had just they when they put it on Netflix I just recently watched it again and it was between him or Uncle Iroh but it had to be Aang. Um I, I love that show so much that I've sort of set aside my first dog's name to be Appa. <laughs> just because I, I mean Appa's so cool. But Aang's super funny, very good comic relief character. Um great show. Love it. I could watch it over and over. I think I, now that you mention it, I think I might have been Aang for Halloween one year. I think I might Probably, because you always just shave your head. Because I used to <laughs> shave my head bald, and I remember drawing the blue arrow on. Oh, okay. That's who that is? Have you ever seen it? No. Oh, you yeah. that show a good show. So good, good show. So, I, I'm going to have a question for you guys. Sam, you might not know. Okay. But if you could be any vendor, which one would you be? A fire. Water. Water. I would, that would be sweet. Invisibility. That's not a sure. bender. Good one. Good one. <laughs> I would is, definitely be an earth bender. Don't you have to have that element around you to bend it? Water is more probably abundant than abundant. Ah, that's good. That, yeah, like, water bender would probably be the most useful. But I always like in, in the show Toph um, in Boomy, they're earth benders. Oh, they're so cool. I would love to be an earth. Never bender. mind. There is more earth than there is water. Wait, no, there is it. No, there's, there's more earth. There's water. Seventy yeah, percent of the earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Pause. No, you're right. But well, wait, like, does it have to be around? Because like, I think with the fire benders, it's not like they just got fire yeah, laying around. I mean, they just make I mean, it. I would but, just keep matches in no, my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need matches. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, um, skip. You're number up four. Up to number four. Um, this is a this is a big one. Um, I'm going with Dr. Doofenshmirtz from Phineas yes. and Ferb. Um, I have a love-hate relationship for him. Love-hate? Why? Why is he's so, love, like, love? I feel bad for him, but at the same time, he's always, like, putting a, a dampening, like, a dampening mood on the situation. He's always just, like, ruining cool things. <laughs> he is. But he's also, I feel bad for him because he's just trying to be evil. Yeah. I mean, he's, it's, it's crazy how you can make someone who's, you know, goal is world domination. I guess tri-state area domination. <laughs> tri-state. And he's an evil. He's the bad guy of the show, but yet they make him so lovable. He is the how, best character how do they on do that show. Because it's like, almost like oh. Phineas and Ferber are like trying to ruin the tri-state. It's like, I feel like they're trying to ruin it and Doofenshmirtz is trying to like save it from them doing stupid stuff in the tri-state area. <laughs> Unintentionally, he does yeah. end up saving the day. No, like yeah. when they build like roller coasters mm -hmm. in their backyard, it's like, what are you doing? That's... Dangerous. Yeah, stop. That's stop. dangerous. You didn't get a permit. And then he doesn't even like blow him up sometimes or like ruins yeah. it. It's like he, ruins your project. But it's like, listen, he's like, why are you building roller coasters in your backyard? <laughs> the funniest, the funniest scene um, with Dr. Doofenshmirtz is when he's like talking about his backstory. He's like, it goes back to my birth. Neither one of my parents showed up. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's the doctors holding him. With it's just so funny. He is, he is the best. That show is great. It's a great show. Underrated show. Oh, it's oh, amazing. It's when when we came up rated. with when when we came up with this cream of the crop, that was the first show that came to my mind. Mm. Wow. Number right. four, Ethan. Bender from Futurama. I never watched the show. I've never seen it. Oh, you've never is it watched the robot? It? Yeah, that's a robot. Yeah, he's cool. He's, he's funny. Guy. I've never, I've never really watched that thing, like when it came on late at night, but like, yeah, he's pretty funny. I'm sad that you don't know him. None of you do. I, I mean, I know, I know of him. him. Yeah, I'm just, just I've never enough. watched I've, I've the show. I've seen like yeah. little clips of him, like, yeah, but I've cool never. Guy. Yeah. He's cool. <laughs> Between that one and then American Dad, those were the two like more like uh, what what was it? Adult Swim, like yeah. after Cartoon Network went. American Dad is such. A I never watched either of them. Roger. I want to be like Roger too when I grow up. <laughs> My number four is gonna be your nemesis. Perry the play. <laughs> oh, so are we doing Perry with the hat or without the hat? Because that's a big difference. With with the hat. Oh, like, come on. Uh, Perry the platypus, dude. He's a man. He, I, when, like I said, when we came up with this crop, I thought of immediately a Phineas and Ferb. And I'm thinking, like, who's my favorite character off this show? And I was like, Ferb's pretty awesome. Ferb's pretty, awesome. Fer, Ferb's pretty sweet. So your favorite two are the two that don't talk at all? 
He just makes that little. That's why. It's it's why he's at four because I was gonna put Ferb and I was like, oh, he doesn't talk, and I was like, oh, Perry the platypus. And then after I put him at four, I'm like, ah, oh, he, he says, doesn't talk either. Oh. He says so little, but says so much. That's hey. right. Hey. It's all that matters. That's Perry the platypus, baby. He's the man. When you don't say much, your words mean more. Yeah. <laughs> you see him in action, baby. <laughs> 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 then he puts that little hat on. He's. Uh, my number four is um, that of the regular show, Rigby. Rigby, that's the... Uh, that's the, the raccoon. Raccoon, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was between Rigby or maybe uh, Muscle Man. Muscle Man? <laughs> it's so funny. I love Muscle Man. <laughs> uh, but I had to go Rigby. He, it's so funny. I love that show. Um, it, it's, it's also just crazy how just like the craziest things get just blown out of proportion in that show and just like... Be, it, it's so anything other than regular. <laughs> It's like, I, I I love like the memes that they build around that show. Cause I used to watch it a little bit when I was younger, mm -hmm. but like just this, like how a regular show starts and it's like two dudes playing video games, like how it ends. And it's like people bending space time reality <laughs> and like fighting aliens. And, and uh, yeah, nobody just likes to mention that, um, Benson is just a gumball machine. A gumball machine. <laughs> like, it's like everything else is like, I guess somewhat sort of like, Fine, but he's just a gumball machine. <laughs> that's, but, like, that's like the useless character, like Towelie from South Park. It's literally, he's just a towel. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just a you towel. never seen that? No. He just, oh. it's, a, it's a towel that smokes weed every day. Literally. Literally. <laughs> literally. It's, you gotta watch it. It's so literally. Funny. Yeah. Yes. You know what? <laughs> they actually have this a character whole... that's literally a turd. <laughs> yeah, I have a I've lot seen of Mr. Characters. Anki. Yeah. I think <laughs> I'm gonna say now. This is what makes cartoons so good: is that you can do anything. And it doesn't. It doesn't need to make sense. You can have a sure. towel or a personification. Baby. It doesn't make sense, but it makes so much sense. Exactly. You you can't get away with that in regular TV. <laughs> All right. Well, what's your number three? My number three. I'm going back to. So I told Logan before that when I was making my list, it was almost just two shows involved, and I was going to have three people from one show and one and two people from another show, but I had to narrow it down to one per show. This is one of those shows. And it's probably one of my favorite cartoons growing up. I went with Wilt from the Foster's Home from Stop. Imaginary Friends. Wow. Is he on your list? He's literally my number three. Number three? I'm, look, look at my list. Hey. Hold <laughs> on. Look at my list. I'm not kidding you. I don't want to see the top two. Wilt Foster. Oh, so Wilt, That's what I'll say, guys. Yes, he's, 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 he's tall such a good player with one arm. That is funny. I was like, I hope one of you know who that is. Well, I that do have a Foster's three. Home from Imaginary Friends character on okay. my list. He's in my honorable mentions. I'm not going to get to him. I have, I <laughs> have, will. okay, I have one that I had to put in my honorable mentions because obviously he's the most iconic character from that show. But then Eduardo. Oh, I love Eduardo. Eduardo's the other one that Eduardo. I was toying with. I was like, <laughs> how can I not put Eduardo I, I on think, the list? I think the one in your honorable mentions is probably the most common one, but there might be one that you're forgetting. I no, I think it's, I think we probably got the same one. Okay. And I okay. think it's going to be. Cool. Okay. We'll so talk about both you guys went yeah. with Will. Yeah, Will. Dude, so, he's so. He's a good guy. He's, he's such, such a good, a good guy, guy, but he's also he's like. His arm is just off. Yeah. I remember the I remember the uh, uh, the movie when he went missing. Yeah. And that was like came out at Thanksgiving time, and I was down at my cousin's for Thanksgiving for that, and that was the most traumatic experience <laughs> of my life. For sure. I remember the scene where he was like out on a farm, and he's making all these hay bales, yeah. and he's doing it so quick, and. Oh, what a good show. Do you remember that one part of the show that was like they were in the junkyard and they were being chased by like that wrecking ball or whatever? Yes. That was a scary episode. I was like, <laughs> I was so afraid for everybody. It was just like, it, it reminded me of like Mario, like how he has- When they yeah. get the chain? Yeah. yeah. Yep. That, was that is such a great show. It's such a great I show. I love that One of my show. favorite cartoons. Did I watch it? Yeah, I watched it. I, did. I was never like drawn to it as like I loved it, but I like one. I watched it. Yeah, be in my imaginary friend watched it. You and Blue. <sighs> Me? Yeah, you're up. My three. I'm going Timmy Turner. Mm. That's a good one. Fairly yeah, odd yeah, he's really good. He makes me mad for some reason. I don't know why. He just like looks he, like... He, he does the dumbest wishes. I would just want to punch him. <laughs> like he's just like... Yeah, that too. <laughs> he's like one of those things that like he like ruins things in the show. Yeah. He's just like a stupid character that's like, wow, you ruined this for everybody. And it's Jeez. just like... Well, isn't that the part? Like the sweat. show is like you gotta like... Yeah. He, he, you have the imaginary friend, so he wishes for something, and it turns out that, hey, maybe don't wish for things. That's maybe life a bad is, wish. maybe life yeah, is better than it is. The worst thing. Yeah. 
He's a great character. I mean, he also is like nine. We got to give him a little bit of yeah, credit. Like, he's learning as he's he goes. Learning. He's learning on the job. I think Juan Decimo is the best character yeah. in the show. He was. That's my soul. Nah, crush. Crush. <laughs> I don't know Decimo. what it was about him. He was just so. Like, <laughs> I know what it is about him. Have you seen that guy? <laughs> His tank yeah, top him and, that he had on. Him and Chip <sighs> Skylark. Chip yeah. Skylark. Shiny <laughs> teeth and me. I know. I have that song on my phone. <laughs> Oh, All right, my number three, going back to Phineas and Ferb, is Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Let's go. <laughs> he is by far the best character on that show, I would say. Um, he, he, like, they just give him a, they give him backstory. They give him like, like you said, you you love him, but he's supposed to be evil, and you feel bad for him. He just wants to, he just wants to be a good dad for Vanessa, and you know, exactly. he's trying to do everything. And the fact that it's so funny that he's. He's not trying world domination, it's tri-state area <laughs> domination. It's like so sad. <laughs> and it's like the way he speaks and the songs that he has. He always has like a really sad, his backstory is sad. It's just yeah. like makes you feel bad for He him. used to be, his father used to make him uh, be a, a, a garden gnome. A garden gnome. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Poor Bloony. He had a balloon that was his, his only friend. friend. His only friend. <laughs> um, yeah, he is so high up there. And, I, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, now that we've talked about it, it's he, it's a crime to put him this low. He should be even, number one. Even four is a, even more of a crime. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> All right. Number two. Um, this is, I went with, I had to put one classic cartoon character on there, and I think this is the guy that, like, growing up I loved the most, and that's Bugs Bunny. You mm. can't hate on a good Bugs Bunny. Yeah, so I good. feel like I put him a little high, but that's just because I remember I used to, Space Jams, or Space Jam, whatever. Such a good movie. Um, just watching the old classic, uh, you know, him and Daffy Duck and all of them. All the Looney Tunes shows growing up. It was great. And then I had the video game, too. It's one, I don't know what it was, but it was a cool video game. He was, like, the first one, the first character that was sort of, like, the sarcastic, satirical yeah. yes. character that, mm -hmm. like, paved the way. The anti-Mickey Mouse, if you, like. Yeah. He was the everything Mickey Mouse wasn't, and yeah. that's what made everyone love him. Gotta he love a great good Bugs Bunny. Yeah, he's great. It's a great yeah. number two, actually. Yeah. My number two is Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Did they? What did they? What they, they, what they, they were doing in my laboratory? <laughs> 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 Literally. He's so like. That's another. He's like an evil character, low key, but yeah. it's not like he's just like he always has good ideas and he's always fixing things, fixing things, but making it worse at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's is, like. Is his nemesis more Jojo? Jo? No, Mojo. that's the power of the. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. That's um. Yeah. Do you remember that volcano episode or something where they're that uh, laboratory in the volcano? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good episode. Yeah, I uh, I I always catch myself doing that just random times. Did they? Did they? Oh, what are you doing, doing in my laboratory? Right. <laughs> it's a good character. I, I do it all the time. Like, it's actually embarrassing to admit. Sometimes <laughs> I do that. It's, it's like, just like a wholesome show. It's yeah. just really like. It's really good. It's one of those things that you can relate to. Is like. You have like an annoying brother or annoying sister. It's oh, like one of those yeah, things that like yeah. you would hate Didi. It's just like, <laughs> it's like what like it's almost like what are you doing in my room? Like why are you in my laboratory? Yeah, like <laughs> she was the worst. Might be she if we have a it. like the yeah, top five worst cartoon character, one. she's number one. <laughs> she's oh really my gosh, she's so annoying. It's what good... about Dinkleberg? <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe you're right, Dinkleberg. Yeah. <laughs> oh. My number two was actually my number one until I switched it just literally 15 minutes before we started. I actually, the, that guy wasn't even on my list. My number one wasn't even on that list until. And, uh, yeah. Whoa. But my number two, Patrick from SpongeBob. I mean, he's the man. Like, uh, SpongeBob is such an iconic, like, cartoon that, like, you have to have somebody on there. And Patrick is the best character. Funny guy. By far. He's like, is this the Krusty Krab? <laughs> No, this is Patrick. Like, that, like, come on. He's like, he's like one of those characters that's so dumb that you have to like. You love like, he's him. just like, he reminds you of like that friend that you have that's really like we can't say any names, but he's that friend <laughs> that you have that's really dumb, but you still love him. We all have one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna skip you real quick because Patrick Star is my number one. I respect. So it. Patrick Star is my number one. <laughs> respect. <laughs> Patrick Wait, Star is my number he's one. He's the best. Dude. How do you, and he was your number one. He was, but then so, I saw something. You saw, yeah. okay. I mean, just By far. The, the amount of, because you brought up the, oh, this is Patrick. Like, <laughs> the amount of just stupid but funny <laughs> things that he has is 
amazing. He How under he, a rock. <laughs> the, like, so the, the episode where he's like trying to find the lid and he's like, the lid, the, the lid, lid, the, the lid. <laughs> oh my god. And then, oh my god, there's just so many you can name. Like, you can't even. Yeah. Ugh. He makes me laugh way more than SpongeBob ever did. He's so funny. Oh, I, I knew my number one had to be a SpongeBob. Oh, absolutely. Because that was the other show. It was, either, it was gonna be him and SpongeBob were gonna be on my list with a bunch of uh, Foster's Home characters right up there. Oh, yeah. But. Um, He's playing I, the drums. <laughs> I had to pick one, and I had to. I had to pick Patrick. It's Patrick. He's so funny. I got that for fifty cents at a thrift shop. Oh, All right. So then you're number two, and then I guess you're number one, and that's all we got left. Right? My number two. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick. It's Rick. 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 It's Rick. 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 Uh, Rick is. I love Rick and Morty. Uh, I think it. I think it's done in such a amazing way like if you if you actually like just watch it you're like this show's so stupid but if you actually like sort of like pay attention to it it's done really well and rick is um he, he's very i don't know specific about like there's just the things he says and you know it's he just doesn't care but is so smart and just has clapbacks yeah. like that I, I love it um way more than morty even though morty is funny <laughs> it's rick like Rick is just an all-around sick character. It's one of those shows where you have to have like a dumb sense of humor yeah. to understand mm -hmm. it. And that's like, people like don't understand South Park too. It's like, you have to have that like stupid sense of humor to be like, wow, this is actually kind of funny. Yeah. There's there's also a, a level of like intelligence that mm -hmm. it oh, yeah. also it, brings. Yeah. And it's, it, it's such a weird concept. But I would say all of my, everybody on my list was from a kid's cartoon. But if I had to pick one character from like a mature cartoon, it would be yeah. someone from Rick and Morty. That's probably my favorite, like oh. adult cartoon. <laughs> it's, it, but and also like the way that the characters like improvise, and it, it's just like Rick just burps halfway through a sentence. <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's so stupid, it's... but it's so funny. Um, but yeah, then my number one was Patrick, which was already said. Skip. Mine was Patrick, so I guess it's your one in my. Your one, your guys is one. Yep. We got a great number one. I hope you guys can all appreciate this number one, Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Oh the yeah. Coolest dude yeah. I have ever. I've always he wanted also, to be like, a, like a lab, him. Yeah, laboratory as well. But yeah. he's one of those dudes that would always create those sweet inventions to where it's like, wow, this is really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to he watch never that show created all the time. any problems. I was never. close to putting a Johnny on my list, but it wasn't Test. It was Johnny Bravo. It was Johnny Bravo. He's also another one of my. I, I was close to putting Bravo on my list, but I wish I could pull girls like him. He's just so like, <laughs> he's so smooth with it. He's just like, he's just Johnny Bravo. Like he's just <laughs> he's, wow. <laughs> he is Johnny Bravo. But Johnny Test, that's one I didn't even think about. But yeah, that's a Johnny Test is very cool, and his dog. His dog yeah. is like up there with him too. The, that was one of the theme shows that was so catchy, like. Johnny Test. <laughs> I'm about to listen to that in my car. I'm about to, that's, that's, a, a, that's, a, that's a good sleeper a, and pick. Shiny, I mean, yeah, Shiny Teeth it. and Me is also a good song. Mm, that I, mean, I, I have that one. That's like one of those I can sing word for word and people are like, how do you know that? Yeah, Just, me as well. Shiny Teeth and I Me. I scream it. That's a, yeah. I think you put it best. That's a sleeper pick right there, though. Yeah. Johnny Test. This one, number one. Here we go. It's pretty nostalgic. <laughs> It's oh, like when I was a little kid, he was the best cartoon to me, and I even had him in the little action figure. And every time that I like, I would lose him. As a three-year-old, little Sam would walk around and be like, "Where's my damn Woody?" It's Woody from Toy Story. Wow, Woody. Woody from Toy Story is so Shrek. amazing. <laughs> no, it is. It Shrek is great. No Shrek on any list. I, the reason I did think about it, but I was like, it's a bit weird. Yeah, I, Shrek is great. I, I just, it wasn't good enough to be on the list. But uh, Woody, he's the the best. He's a cowboy. Yeah. He's got a snake in his boot. He's True. he's awesome. Mm -hmm. All he wants I to do is be played by his old college uh, owner. I mean, depending on the episode. Okay. Well, depending on the change. His, his owner his own. gets older. <laughs> I think it was Toy Story 2. But um, when he sort of gets like ripped and that doll maker finds him, and, yeah. like, that scene, that oh. scene is so cool. When he yeah. polishes his boot, uh -huh. and, um, his eye, uh, you're laughing. I've never seen that before, but it sounds funny. It, no, it's really cool. <laughs> like it really like the detail. One of, it, one of yeah. the best scenes in cinematic history. My other one, which 
fun fact for you guys that I will die on this hill. That the best scene in cinematic history is in Kung Fu Panda when Tai Lung escapes from prison. Why you was Kung Fu Panda? Oh, they, yeah, I, I, I didn't. I, I, no Cars characters? That scene when he catches that rice with we, his We still have honorable mentions. Okay, sh yeah, no more. Go back to your story. Oh, we need honorable mentions. I mean, if you don't have any, hey, you can just think of some. Yeah. But go back to you. What? The, the scene? What happened in the scene? Oh, uh, I don't know. So there's like a messenger that comes to the prison. Like, the, have you ever seen it? I've seen the movie, but I can't. But like, I the can't prison think of is like a super big prison on like a mountain, and his cell is like all the way down at the bottom, and like dug out all the way, and he's got like, um, he's got chains on his arms and his legs, and he's just like, like darkness, and there's nothing you can do, and then. There's a messenger that comes, and um, like one of the rhinos like slaps him, and one of his feathers slowly drifts down, right next to Tai Long, and he gets it, and he like flings his tail, and then like uses the uh, the the feather to like unlock his chains, and then he like escapes the prison. <laughs> Dude, I gotta watch it. Listen, I, gotta watch listen, it. I, I can't do it just. Okay, it's I just understand. I understand. I'm gonna have to watch it. I we'll will watch it. it. I ask that everybody watches it just to. Visualize what's going on in one your of, if not the best scenes in cinematic history. Watch that and the Toy Story two scene. Yeah, yeah. those two. Uh, All, right. All right, let's Pretty go really through cool. honorable mentions, baby. Honorable mentions. Um, I got mine right here. First one is the one that I think is also on your list. Actually, yeah, we'll do that first. Let's say it at the same time. Yeah, do it. Three, as a, two, two, one. Cheese. Do you guys know cheese? It's yeah. From Foster's home. Foster's home. Yeah. Oh Shark my flat gosh. Mouth. He's just, <laughs> <laughs> the, when he got the horns, he goes. Dude, he was so funny. He was like mac and cheese. Oh my god! What was that thing to where like it gets flooded with chocolate milk or something? What was it? Didn't like the whole house get flooded with chocolate milk? Yeah, that was so funny. There's the one where he's like, he puts the lipstick on. He's like, I'm a pretty lady. He's like, now we're both pretty ladies. Oh, what a character! I went with him. A similar character, like that kind of like. Stupid funny. I went with Fred Fredberger from oh, The Grim Adventures yes. of Billy and Mandy. Fred yes, Fred Fredberger. Oh, <laughs> got the, I saw him. He, he's like, I want that hammer thingy. <laughs> he's in court. Oh, what a character. And then, so funny. Uh, the last one I put was Cat Dog, which is technically two characters, but I'm counting it as one. Cheating. They're one. Cheating, They're one. yeah, you had an extra. <laughs> Good picks. Let's see. Great picks. I gotta think of them off the top of my head. I would say one of them is Coco from oh. Imaginary Friends. Mm -hmm. um, oh, let's yeah. see. What else? Coco. Yeah, I used to, uh, as weird as it sounds, I used to like pick things up with my toes. <laughs> like I still and do. Act like I was Coco. Toes like, are just another hand. I still yeah. Do. <laughs> I still, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, come back to me in a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. yeah. My honorable mentions. You said them already. Eric Cartman. He's funny. Mm. <laughs> he's he's the best in part of South Park, I yep. believe. Uh, Major from Cars. <laughs> oh, said nice. nobody about Cars. I threw him on there. Nice. Major Mater's sure. amazing. And then finally from Finding Nemo, Dory. Oh, Ooh, gotta love Dory. Dory's what about the best. from Finding Dory? Mm. Yeah, she's from Finding Nemo first. True. True. Okay. What do you got? That's a good point. Um, so I had Cheese. Um, I had Jake the Dog from Adventure Time. Great. Yeah, it was actually really hard to pick between those two, but Jake just having like his weird eyes and he is, his weird voice is so funny. And then Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ah, my sister wanted me to put Ed on there. Ed is. I was gonna put Johnny and Plank. Plank is sweet. Um, <laughs> I've actually painted Plank before. Yeah. I wish I had the picture I could show you guys, but it's a very good. But if. If I had to pick anyone, I would pick Ed. When I was a kid, I found like a like just a two by four sitting in our garage, and I used to sleep with it and say okay, it was. I, didn't do that, I never like painted it. Like it's a piece of wood, and I used to like sleep oh with it. Oh my god! Yeah. It's plank. He probably like woke Johnny. up with splinters in his arm every night. <laughs> yeah, probably. I used to also sleep with like a vacuum cleaner that was a uh, you know uh, it's not a cartoon but Teletubbies. They had that vacuum cleaner. Yeah. I used to sleep with. I had a plastic vacuum cleaner. I used to sleep with. Lord. So from Ed and Eddie, that um, is probably one of the shows that, you know, there's like you you see cartoons and then they have like can like food and you're like that looks so good, and from Ed and Eddie, the only thing I ever wanted in life was to have one of those big jawbreakers that were bigger than oh my, my head yeah. and that would like 
It would yeah, stick outside of the mouth. And they would just like drool over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, would, they would always be fighting over how to get them or finding yeah. money to get them. Oh that's like, gosh. I feel like that's like a kid too. When you're a kid, you're always trying yeah. to figure out ways like, to buy candy. That's what that show was built around. It was Literally. just trying to get you know, those jawbreakers. When I finally had one, I was so underwhelmed. <laughs> about how it's just like, it, it's this big and it's, it's like a golf ball. whatever. But you can buy some that are that big. Yeah. There was a, you know, Frankenmuth up mm -hmm. in, it's like right around here. They would sell jawbreakers that were like bowling balls. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's like probably what they're based off How'd of. How'd you fit that in your mouth? You gotta practice. You just gotta, you just gotta I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> All right. Um, any more? Do you, have any Do you have any? I would say when you mentioned, uh, I would say Ice King. He's so funny. He's a very good character. He's another one that you feel bad for because all he's trying to do is find a wife. That's right. And it's like everyone's always beating up on him and trying to like make him look bad, but really he's just like trying to find that one perfect lady to have as his wife and give her the world, but everyone thinks he's some bad dude that's trying to steal princesses. Right. It's like the show Bachelor, or like Bachelorette, when he has a <laughs> bunch of those like, it's like you're always trying to find that one perfect person, but it's like, it's like they always come and just beat him up and then take the princesses from him. It's like, just let him have his game show. Yeah. Like, he's just trying to find his wife. <laughs> so, no one mentioned uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. That's a good one. Yeah. He's a coward. There was a, you're right, actually. There was a one show that I wanted to add, but I didn't. I don't know if anybody else watched it. It is The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. Yes. Captain Absolutely. Captain Knuckles, I no, wanted to add. I didn't I know. If, or Flapjack would be on, or, or Bubby. Mm -hmm. but, Bubby's a, I like the whale. She's, yeah. she's cool. We used to watch that down here. That show, it, it was so... And I, I think I just recently watched it, like, not too long ago. No. I can't believe nobody had Pokemon. No Pokemon. I was going to, but I, I didn't really watch the anime. And, like, yeah, I but played I'm the game. The big, I, I, I'm so big on Pokemon, but like, who am I going to put Ash? Like, I'm not that yeah. attached to Ash, or I, I, I don't really watch the anime. Yeah. Or, It'd be Brock, if anything. Pokemon? Or Pikachu. Pikachu's pretty sweet. A lot of great characters. Um, So, that, those are our lists. So, we're going to put them all on the socials. We're going to need you guys to vote as to which one, or out of us who had the best list mm -hmm. and then also make sure that you put yours in the comments or post them and share it to us any way you can but uh overall i think that was a pretty good list yeah i think we, had I think we all had pretty good ones yeah, that was a know. solid harvest solid solid harvest, harvest that was a lot of cream to cry yeah. <laughs>